Handyman Randy here with a new and different style video, collaborating with local YouTube sensation Budget Nerd to show you how to install your own wired security camera. You'll need a box knife, hammer, crowbar, drill, drill bit, ethernet cable. In this video, we'll be using the Cat 5E, a flashlight, some caulk, a paintbrush, and finally some touch-up paint. Carefully cut along the caulk line on your exterior trim. Cut along the caulk line along the piece of trim by the soffit, the corner board, where you would like to install your ethernet cable. Next, take off your siding by using your crowbar and sliding it or lightly hammering it until it is underneath the siding. Following the nail pattern, you'll want to use the support of the framed wall that is now exposed by the removal of your corner board. Pry it back until all the nails pop. If you do not use the framed 2x4s, then there is a tendency to damage the insulation that is placed behind the siding board. Easiest way at this point is to go ahead and drill a hole right above the cement foundation. This is where you'll feed the ethernet cable through. Place a wire, stick, hanger, anything really, in the hole to aid you in locating it while you're down in the crawl space. Locate your crawl space entrance. It's normally found in a closet normally in the master bedroom. After having your ethernet cable already ran through, shameless plug here, as seen in Budget Nerd's security camera review video, take the remaining end and make your way through the crawl space over to the desired location, as marked by your hanger, wire, stick, or whatever you found. Drill out the hole so the cable will pass through if necessary, if it's too small. Then feed the ethernet cable through. Run it through the hole and back outside, running it through the grooves in the siding seams up towards the soffit, when back outside. Next run the cable up through the soffit. Prying down on the boards over by the fascia is the easiest way to drop them down. Continue running the cable through until you have reached the spot where you would like to mount your camera. As with any wiring project, always pull through more than you'll need as it is easier to cut the extra. Not quite as easy or impossible to add length. Making sure not to pinch or twist your cable, begin putting back your soffit using the staples we loosened when we dropped it down. In this video, I add a couple extra nails using a battery powered 16 gauge nail gun. Now you want to put the siding back on, following the nail pattern. Followed by your soffit trim, and then finally, your corner board, making sure they are as snug as possible. Caulk along the same edge that you had previously cut. At this point, you can touch up to match with the existing house color. At this point in the video, I'll have to bow out, as I do not know how to terminate the Ethernet cables, nor am I familiar with this particular software that runs the security camera. I'll have to throw out one more shameful plug this time for Budget Nerds video found under the HM211 camera review. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, or even leave a comment. If you would like help with a certain task, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do to help you out in a future video.